What is up guys, I am back for the third installment of this boss bar health, whatever you want to call it. I mean, it's not saying it's in order, but you get the point. There has been two others of this, so if you haven't seen them, you can go check them out. It goes over a single player version that has this boss bar for the health that looks pretty good, but it only works in single player. And it also goes over the basics of how to work the boss bar and how we're using the stores uh for execute which is important for this one as well all right so this one different approach we didn't use the boss bar but we used the action bar and i'll give you a quick little demonstration so i'll go over here i look at this guy oh let me turn off the game command block output all right if i look at him it says target entity hp 18 out of 20. if i look at him three out of eight 17 out of 20 16 out of 20 15 out of 20, two out of eight. All right, so as you can see, it works. Target entity has that much HP, and that's just how it works. I mean, clearly it's working pretty good. So let's go over how exactly it works. So this one is a little bit more complicated because we're storing things on scoreboards. So we have a scoreboard that tracks all of the entity's HPs, and we have a scoreboard that tracks all of the entity's max HPs. So all this is doing is just like in the previous video, we are executing at the player and then we are moving two blocks in front of the player and looking for something that's not a player or an item. So basically looking for the sheep in a radius of one. So all this stuff is doing is it's grabbing something that the player is looking at about two blocks in front of them. And you can adjust this yourself to make it actually grab the entity. I didn't put what how to do that because I haven't quite gotten there myself yet. Uh, but if there is a way to do that, add that in there if it's really simple. If it's not simple, I guess don't bother and make it have a bigger radius. I don't know, whatever. Anyway, so then we're going to store that entity that we're looking at. MP, score. This time we're using score. So we're using store result score. And then the score, the entity to store the score on, which is at S. So what we're looking at, we're looking at the sheep. So it is going to grab the sheep and it's going to store score store whatever this value is that we get onto that sheep's MHP score. And the value we get is its health, which is an MBT tag. If you don't, if this is going too fast for you, watch the previous one, I go way slower into what each of these steps are doing um, in terms of data, get entity and stuff, but this is repeated stuff from the previous one, so I wanna get to the new stuff. Anyways, next, we are doing the same thing, but instead we're storing the max generic health dot max base HP um onto the max hp score but we're grabbing the same entity and we're doing the same thing then we are grabbing we're looking at the same entity and we are adding a tag called targeted now tags changed uh you have to use slash tag not scoreboard players tag that's no longer there it's slash tag and it works just how you expect tag selector add and the name of the tag simple so this one we're adding a tag to them called targeted and then uh, we are doing all the good stuff. This is the Telraw, the, the, not the Telraw, the title command that I used. So it's grabbing the entity. Well, it's looking if, it, it's just like in the previous one. It's looking if there is an entity there that you're looking at. And if it is, then it'll play this action bar for the player. And the action bar says target entity. And it is... For the HP, it is picking the nearest entity that has a tag of targeted and to show uh, and their MHP score. And then it's picking the closest entity with a tag of targeted and showing their max HP score. And then it's removing the tag of targeted. Now, you may have already guessed this, but it doesn't work too well if I'm standing here and my friend Bob is standing here and we're looking at separate entities or maybe we're looking at each other's entities. I'm looking at the villager, he's looking at the sheep. The problem is if he's looking at the sheep, it's tagging the sheep with targeted. So my values that show up will be still the sheep's values. Um, and that's just where they can get crisscrossed if players are too close together. But this is the best thing I could come up with so far. If you guys think of any other good ideas, let me know. That's pretty much it for this one. Um, if you guys have any suggestions, go ahead and leave it in the comments. I'll try to get to them. Um, but other than that, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.